There are three elements that drive everything that we do in the kitchen. And it's so central to who we are and what we're about. And three simple words, dignity, family, and stewardship. That every single person that comes through that door has dignity and is deserving of respect. And for the last 40 years, people have been treated with dignity when they come to St. Francis Kitchen. The second is family. We believe that we're all brothers and sisters. And so when we think about those in need, they're not a stranger. It's important that we treat them like they're coming into our home, not even as a guest, but as a family member. Our job as Christians is to look at those gifts and talents and look at the needs in the community and find a match. And so that's when I say stewardship, I mean that it's so important for those of us that have the means, that have the time, or that have the ability to help those that are in need. The volunteer staff, I would say that we have two categories, weekly volunteers and episodic volunteers. I'm grateful for all of them, but I'm blown away by the weekly volunteers. We have people that come in the last year during the COVID pandemic, some of our volunteers have come four or five times a week for a year. In a typical year, we serve over 100,000 hot, nutritious meals. There is no physical way that we could accomplish that without hundreds, probably almost a thousand volunteers in the course of a year. Because of the pandemic, last year's celebration was canceled. But in recognition of their ongoing efforts, St. Francis Kitchen honors not one, but a group of outstanding volunteers who help our organization feed and clothe the most vulnerable members of our community. In 2020, the Kitchen Advisory Board designated AFSME, District Council 87, for outstanding support. Their efforts are organized each year by Eric Schubert in honor of his late father, Frank, who was a strong supporter and volunteer at St. Francis. My father, Frank Schubert, was a people person. He just loved giving back to people and he wanted to give back and church was important. It was funny, he was, you know, just a good, good human being, good father. You know, he raised five kids. We represent over 5,000 members uh, in Northeastern Pennsylvania. And we start getting con contributions to everybody for the Frank Schubert Turkey Fund. So, so over the last six years, we raised over $40,000. The generosity from all of our locals who were public sector union, you know, we're, we're the people that pick up your garbage, you know, the, the people that take care of people in nursing homes, the prisons, guys that take care of the roads, you know, Lackawanna County Prison, uh, they give astronomical $2,000, you know. I just see how my father used to tell me, you know, you treat people the way you want to be treated, you know, no one's better than anybody, you know, he, he treated a garbage man to a CEO the same way, and, you know, his faith in, in the church and what he thought, he always grew up that way. You know, St. Francis Kitchen does uh, remarkable work for the, for the less fortunate. Give back. Give back to people that don't have the, what you have, you know. St. Francis Kitchen helps people. Oh, I love being a part of St. Francis because of the different people you meet. You know, not only on the board, but you know, our clients, um, the volunteers, it, it's a family, it truly is a family, you know, in, in the spirit of St. Francis. Um, I've worked with St. Francis on the lines, I've worked, you know, by, by handing out meals, by um, walking through the, through the crowd while people are, are having their meal. Um, I've actually even helped prepare some of the meals. So it's, it's very humbling to be a part of people's lives. I feel that sitting down to a meal together is very family, very community. And I, f I feel that St. Francis helps bring that all together. Volunteerism at, at St. Francis, that's how the organization runs. If it weren't for the volunteers and the sponsors for the kitchen, the operation would not work. It's, 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 it's almost the foundation without, without that. And of course, we have great staff people, but you know, without the volunteers at the kitchen, meals wouldn't be, be put out for people every day. The people that come that are in need are very grateful. They're very humbled by your, by your ability to, to be with them at their level, to give them some dignity and grace. Since I retired, I've been looking for service opportunities and St. Francis certainly fits the bill in that regard. Now on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, I've found real friendship and fellowship with the kinds of people who volunteer 
Um, they're, um, they become part of an extended family that you have. It's uplifting. Um, that's the primary reason, primary sense that I have of service at St. Francis. It uplifts me to do this kind of work, to provide this kind of service to the clientele of the, of the kitchen. There's such a need, such a volume of people who depend upon St. Francis for at least one solid meal every day. The food that we provide certainly is nourishing, certainly provides a well-balanced meal at least once a day for the clients of the kitchen. Now in terms of the volunteer service, it's just a, an overwhelming feeling of gratitude that I have for the people who give their time and their energy to the work of St. Francis. The need, I think, is a lot greater than either A, people want to admit, or people know. One of the things that we worry about, or that I worry about personally, is replacing the people that leave for whatever reason. If we, I think we want to try and find a way to get some younger people involved, but it's very difficult. They're younger people, they're raising families, they're working every day. So I, I understand the challenges, but it's something that we're constantly aware of and constantly looking to show our appreciation. If you are one of the people who contribute and, and support St. Francis Kitchen, either monetarily or with your time and effort and by word of mouth, on behalf of the board and most importantly, on behalf of the people that we serve, I can't thank you enough for everything that you do and would ask that you continue to support us as we continue to reach out and accomplish our mission of serving the people in need in the community that we live in. This year, St. Francis would like to recognize a group of extremely dedicated volunteers as award recipients. This sampling of volunteers represents those who work at our kitchen, food pantry, clothing store, or parishes involved with the Mid Valley Outreach faithfully every week. When you hear St. Francis, you automatically think of the kitchen. But I'd like to give a nod to our pantry so people are aware that we're there. Our people have the opportunity to come in and shop just like a grocery store. When I, when I retired three years ago, I had a lot of time on my hands. I was so used to going out to work every day, and I thought, oh, I've got to do something. And I went down there really with the attitude, like, something for me. I want to do something for me. And when I got down there and saw what it was, it wasn't about me anymore because people that come in there they're so grateful for what we we do for them you know and they might not know how to express it but you'll we'll be walking through with the people and they're getting their groceries and they come to the end and sometimes you're distracted yourself and you're just throwing groceries in bags for people and you open the door from them they'll say oh thank you so much god bless you and it's like wow it just stops you in your tracks like they need this help it's just I love going down there. It, it gives me a purpose. I love helping people. You know, I've been doing this thing here for a long, a long time, volunteer work. I did volunteer. I was in the Peace Corps. So I love helping people. That's, that's why I do it. It's at St. Francis Closing Store. Everything is free. The doors is open to anybody that's in need. So anybody that come there and say that they're in need, we make sure we take care of them. We have jeans. We have 
dresses, we have summer and winter coats, uh, we have a few suits, we have dress shoes, we have tennis shoes, we have boots, we have baby clothes, we have kids clothes, you know, so it's all ages. Oh, Rose, oh, she's the, she's the best, you know, so she's, she's very easy going and she's very accommodated to everybody, so I mean, she's just a lovely woman, so I, 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 I love her myself. People don't want to come out and say that they're in need, so you know, you should always look out for your neighbors and friends and family members. St. Francis Kitchen has a long and strong history. Everybody in this community knows St. Francis. Tons of people in this community support the St. Francis Kitchen. But my hope is that we can continue to build and to serve more folks. So when I think about that combination of a love for God and a devotion to the church and a desire for this to be an expression of God's love, I just, it just feels like a perfect fit.